Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have got a lot going on here. Um, we have five easy A's coming. Uh, Dokkan this year, they've been doing a lot of easy A's, that's for sure. So we have Giant Rubrian. Um, This is a special pose character, right? We have uh, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. This is a uh, Defender of Justice character. Um, we have the Topo and Pride Troopers. This is... To me, of all the characters here, this is the one I'm probably the most intrigued by. Uh, we're going to get to Int Gotenks in a second. It's probably going to be the best. But uh, remember, my primary focus is always that the Dokkan Fest character of the Celebration is treated good. This Topo easing is very good for, to for Dokkan Fest Topo, potentially. Uh, we have AGL Gotenks. And then we have Int Gotenks. Int Gotenks assuredly should be the best of, of all these characters. Hopefully, Int Gotenks is made to be very good. Um, one thing about Int Gotenks is that he is on... I mean, we could just go over to his card. Uh, I think he's this one? Nope. I'm all over the place. Here he is right here. Last one I click on. Uh, Int Gotenks is on approximately every team in the game. So, Int Gotenks being super good would help us out a lot. Um, all right, let's just jump in. We got translations from Minato. Uh, top of the thread here, we have the Topo and Pride Troopers. Um, so no Jiren, but they give us Jiren's banner unit. We have two LR banner units, by the way. We have Topo and Pride Troopers, and we have ETL Go Tanks, both easying. Uh, let's take a look at the stats of Topo and Pride Troopers. Uh, defense is high. HP is kind of like a normal unit and so is uh attack as well all right so let's see so topo and pride troopers um universe or special pose category key three and 130 percent of stats super attack effect is 30 percent attack and defense supreme damage and greatly lower enemy attack and defense okay um good that's fine uh i like i like the debuff and then of course the buff as well um looking at his link oh yeah I mean, he has, what, six out of seven with Dokkan Fest Topo? So, that's really good. Okay. Passive, he gets 110% attack and defense at the start of turn. 110. Okay, that's... That's the same? They didn't buff that? Okay. Uh, I mean, that's not... Uh, that's not the most in like this. Okay, I, I'm not very optimistic from that. Um, it, I mean, it's still better because he's gonna have higher stats. But okay, we didn't buff that. Sure. Then he gets 110% attack and defense, and key plus one up to three. When there are three. No, no, that's okay. When there's three Universe 11 category allies in the team. Dokkan Fest Topo, friend Dokkan Fest Topo, Topo and Pride Troopers. Okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, because he's going to need that. Uh, then he guards. Another 110% attack and events when performing a super attack. If there's another Universe 11 category ally in the same turn. Okay. that's. I mean, that's going to be easy with Dokkan Fest Topo. Performs a crit? What? If all allies of Universe 11 are special pose, and then Universe 11 are special pose, support 3 key, 50% attack and events, and 11% crit. What? Bro, they... Look how little this character... Wow. That's actually crazy how little they gave them. Is that not insane? Like, look at this. Their kit is virtually identical before and after. At, this is, like, worst case scenario. Guaranteed crit? You're shitting me. <laughs> okay. Bro, you slap on 50% dodge right there instead, and this character is 50 times better. Um, I mean, they're probably going to be runnable. I I mean even with the stats increase a lot of the links active plus Dokkan Vest Topo next to them. I, like I'm sure they're runnable, but damn dude. 
I like we have a little bit of extra stats right here. I like when they do this, like they just like throw on a bunch of crit to the character. That doesn't like that's not increasing your chances of winning. Like crit is like a luxury ability at this point for most characters. I mean, there's there's points where it's very meaningful. Like, you know, a lot of characters on Tobo seem all of the universe seven easiest EGLUI Goku in Evolution Blue Vegeta, uh, Blue Kaioken and Evolution Blue. Like the way their crit abilities are constructed, it just allows them to butter through the entire game. Like they just cut through the entire game with the very easy guaranteed crits all over. Um, but like it, it, it's this character getting crit is just like like it's just clown it. It's clown shit. It is. It is. So I don't. Uh, this this is the one I was most looking forward to because. You know, we'd want help for Topo. Uh, I guess, huh? Uh, he does get an extra. Oh, it's okay. It's where the guard ability is. There's another extra hundred and ten percent. Yeah, right there. So he has three hundred and ten percent. It's still. We'll see. I I think he should be use usable. I mean, it's a character. A lot of times, you know, we'd want to run him in probably slot. T I mean, Topo is going to be going to have to run in slot one. Although to be fair, on the J on the Japanese player friends list, every Dokkan Fest Topo you have is full crit. And, I mean, I, you know, I, I hate that the character exists, honestly, because it does lead to us, like, your Dokkan Vestobo is built full dodge, or you're nerfing the character he's built wrong, he's going to run at half power. If Dokkan Vestopo is not full dodge, you're getting half of the character. It's just how, it's just how it is. Um, so, it's like the friend Topo is always going to be significantly weaker. Always. Because people on JP Dokkan are idiots, unfortunately. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I, the character will be okay, but certainly could be better. Certainly could be better. All right, Int Gotenks. So this is this is the big one, Int Gotenks. Uh, pff, look at this, 20,000, 20,000, 14. Like, these are insane stats. So remember, you know, this guy gets, you know, 200% attack and even start a turn or something like that. He is eating off of it in a ridiculous way. So, remember, he transforms into Super Saiyan on turn 3. Now, remember, the transformation into Super Saiyan 3 or Boo is rather annoying to do. Um, I guess in the current meta, it's probably not the biggest deal. So, the best thing you could do, right, is it's like he transforms on turn 3 and then... Oh, damn. W what is the trick with him and Boo? I'm almost going to have to go back and watch my own video. It's... It's like the first turn they transform, you float them off, and they come back, and you could tran you could use the active skill. There is some trick to it where you could use their active like earlier than it says you can. I think it's when I I'll have to go back and I'll have to double check. Um, I someone in the comments will probably correct or well will clarify what it is. But at some point when you float them off, I think it's right away. Like they immediately they transform into you know the the tech skinny boo or this go tanks. You immediately float them. And then he'll come back and he'll be ready to transform. This guy was a Super Battle Road killer. The Super Saiyan version. Alright, let's see. I, I, I really hope this guy's good. This is still a Topo buff, by the way. Because Topo is going to have trouble getting... Don't confess Topo. Going to have trouble getting his intro on many teams. Um, and Gotenks, if he's really, really good, could help Topo get his intro on a lot of teams. Because Gotenks is both... Uh, no, he's special pose, but not defender of justice. So that, but Topo just needs two special pose or two defender of justice. All right. Int Gotenks here. Um, let's see. Special pose, key four, one seventy percent stats. Youth, key three, one seventy percent stats. So youth just gets an extra... 40% defense. Okay, sure. 
Uh, super attack effect. He gets 30% attack for one turn. 50% defense for three turns. Interesting. Okay. And then immense damage. Uh, okay. Now look at his passive prior to EZA, right? It's just like 100% attack and defense. So everything is new, basically. Two key 200% stats. All right. Remember, this is very big on him because he's like, he has monster stats. 50% attack on super. High chance of an additional super. Okay. Not the way we like it written, but I'll still take the additional, right? You want it to be high chance of an additional, or excuse me, you want it to be performs a guaranteed additional with a high chance to be a super. Um, this is only high chance to super, but it's still pretty good. And he has a high chance to dodge. Additional chance to dodge with each attack evaded within the same turn. I, I mean, on base go tanks, I'll take it. 50% defense from throwing a super attack for one turn from first appearance. Okay. We're looking good. This is very good looking for base go tanks. This looks good. This is good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Go tanks might be really good. If this is what base go tanks looks like, we might be looking good. This this looks good. This looks good. We see the dodge. He's got an additional in there. Remember, his stats are monstrous. Okay. Okay. Base go tanks looks good. Super Saiyan go tanks. Uh, thirty percent attack for one turn. 50% defense for four turns. Immense damage. Then a high chance to stun. I I mean, we're getting to the point where he could do potentially a lot of supers. That defense could really start to look good. Two key, 250% attack and defense. Okay, holy shit. Uh, 50% attack. High chance for another 50% attack. Medium chance to crit when performing a super attack. Okay. Uh, this is more of, like, a character that's going to be doing a lot of damage and attacking. Like, Topo and Pride Troopers having crit. I, like, I'm, I'm, like, it's actually so cringe. Like, oh, my God. But, like, this character getting crit, like, it's, it's a little bit more like, okay, like, this is a character that's there to do damage. Right? Like, Topo and Pride under like, a lot of people don't get it. They're just, I mean, I, I really don't want to be rude, but people just do not understand with, like, crit and dodge and stuff. Flat out, they just don't get it. They're just completely clueless. It's okay. It is what it is. Like, you know, I don't want to be mean, but they don't, don't get it. This is a defense and support unit. Now, Go Tanks is, you know, easy a Dokkan Fest TURs. I mean, you don't want to be like, all right, Beast Gohan, is he nervous about this Go Tanks? That's not the best way to look at this. But, like, this is a character who, you know, could do things like, like standard amounts of damage that compare to other characters, right? Whereas this is a defense and support unit. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, so there's that. So he's got the chance to crit, which I'll take for sure. 70% chance of an additional super. Still just high chance to dodge. Okay, I mean, I'll still take it. 20% chance to dodge with each dodge attacked in the... With each dodge in the same turn. Now, understand that that's going to just be a separate proc, right? So I'm going to give my Gotenks a full dodge build. So he's going to start with a 50% chance to dodge. Then he's going to be getting that like a separate dodge proc as he's dodging in the turn. And then he also have the hidden potential system dodge. So he's going to be a full dodge character. Okay. And then from the fourth turn onwards, high chance to recover. Oh, from the fourth turn onwards. You know why he has that? I remember this being annoying at certain points. Yeah, dude, Jesus. That's tough. That's... It's just, here's the thing, like, people will see that and they'll go, oh my god, but you hate Blue Vegito's transformation, you hate STR Vegito's transformation, yes, and I also hate this, because HP conditions are not consistent, you cannot guarantee you're gonna be above the HP threshold or under the HP threshold, giving Gotenks at least an ability to work around this is pretty good, he looks good. I, I'm going to, you could get some good luck with his additionals and oh my God, his defense, dude. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What is this? It's 
it's worded differently than transformed Rudigons. Which, okay. Oh, this might be related to Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Let's see. Uh, so, leader skill is the same. 50% attack and events for four turns is just, like, that is so crazy of a super attack effect. 70% chance to stun. The stun chance is really, I don't think, going to come into play. Oh, Cell Max. Cell Max. Yeah, Gotenks could completely control the Cell Max fight. Oh, God, dude. Three hun You are shitting me. 300%. This boy is rocking 300% with the stats. The stats of a god. He has the stats of an angel, and the boy has 300%. Okay. Another 100% attack. High chance to crit on super. Guaranteed additional super. 70 oh, he's... Dude, he's crazy. He's crazy. 70% chance to dodge. Extra dodge with each attack evader in the same turn. And then guaranteed crit his first turn. I, dude, with his super attack effect. Oh. I'm, I'm telling y'all, this guy is crazy. This guy's really powerful. And you know what I'm liking about this too? Yeah, uh, this, he's getting key. We got the dodge. We got the additional key. Dodge additional. Like, wow, damn. They made him good on the whole thing. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I don't mind this. Yeah, I wanted the Jiren EZA, but if we're going to do this, this looks... He looks good. I I still have not made in my EZA... I, I haven't done an updated EZA tier list. I This guy has got to be competing with Kefla, though, for real. Let me just take a quick look at Kefla again. Like, like this is more so a character that's going to be in line with Kefla, right? Kefla could still be better. Let's take a look. Let me take a look at Kefla. So, uh, bam, bam, bam. We got the high chance to dodge uh, with three key spheres. The only thing is, like, key spheres... I mean, it's it's only just three key spheres, though. It's like, it's like, it's like God Goku. Right? Like, it's not, like, three AGL key spheres or three SCR key spheres. It's just three key spheres, which is really not that bad. And she goes in a Super Saiyan. I dodge with two key spheres. That's not a problem. Uh, but, I mean, she does stack. I think... Well, yeah, I mean, I, th I think I'm going to like Gotenks better. Hmm. Uh, I mean, she also has 70% dodge. With a, an extra additional. Uh, I mean, e even if Kefla is one, I mean, Gotenks could potentially be two, but not like... Like, Kefla felt way better. I mean, I haven't used her, but just, like, seeing the numbers she puts up, like, knowing what she does. She seemed comfortably better than any other easy ATUR. Gotenks, at the very least, is is with, within range of Kefla, which is good. Yeah, th I mean, this is a good kit. Um, and this is good because he doesn't have... Con like, he's just going to be solid on all these teams. Huge help to Heavenly Events... And, you know, Fuse Fighters and all this stuff. So, Gotenks is looking good. Wow. Okay. Um, we have EZA AGL Gotenks. Who is right here. So, this is the Tech Gogeta banner unit. Uh, this is June of 2021. So, we're very close to Super Vegeta with this guy. Uh, regardless, this guy should be a king for Super Battle Road Stages. Which I'll st still matters. He could be good for Battlefield too, depending upon what they did. Time limit category key three hundred thirty percent to stats. He gets fifty percent defense, supreme damage, and a high chance to stun all enemies. Remember, it's an AOE, so we got extra defense, and extra stun. Okay. Uh, what are his stats? This is like normal Do. These are kind of like he has like normal Dokkan Fest stats. This AGL goat. That's what his stats are. Essentially just normal, like regular 
Uh, Joker on the stats. 150% attack and defense. He gets 150% attack and guaranteed crit on a banner unit, dude. Uh, uh. Guaranteed crit. Yeah, this is this is a yeah. 150 uh, percent defense, additional super against two or more enemies. No, dude. No, that's that's the that's like a Raditz Raditz ability right there. Um, so when it becomes time to fight multiple enemies, we're not looking for raw defense. We would want probably damage reduction. If that was 50 percent damage reduction, he'd be looking a little bit better. Time limit. Category allies, three key, 50% stats. Attack and chance to dodge with each attack performed. Uh, hmm. I, I mean, he's upgraded, but he's not. All right, let me. This is a banner unit. I mean, so is Topo. Uh, if I consider that the Topo and Pride Troopers is a banner unit, it probably is going to be a good EZA. But we did just get 16 Super Vegeta and Cell Jr., who are pretty good. Pretty good sub EZAs. All right. Okay. Uh, I think he's. Hmm. This might sound weird. One thing I think I would have liked for this guy is if he sealed as well. I think that would be he'd be. I mean, he it you know, battlefield option super battle road, but like that would be really nice. AOE seal would be really crazy. I mean, he is. It's just. He's going to dodge per attack performed. Eh, that's, that's very low. All right. Uh, Super Saiyan 2, great Saiyan man. Okay. Defense is a bit low. Barely over 10,000. I do not have high expectations for this guy right here. Yeah, no way. Do I think that this guy is going to be super good? This is another, like, world tournament, Super Saiyan 2, Defender of Justice. Like, he's on a lot of teams we'd love to have better. Uh, remember, Gohan is both Special Pose and Defender of Justice, which helps Topo. I think it's time. This guy, by the way, would this exact one would make for a great Dokkan Fest. This guy from his fight against Dabura would make for a kick-ass Dokkan Fest, I'm thinking. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at what he's got here. AJL physical type key, three hundred percent to stats. He gets fifty percent events one turn, supreme damage, and then thirty percent attack for three turns. All right, I mean we'll take the defense, sure. One hundred eighty percent attack and defense at the start of turn. For each ally in Defender of Justice or Exploding Rage, other than this character, depending on which category has more characters, he gets one key up to three. And 60% attack and defense up to 180%. So it's just three more. Okay. Sure. I Again, I don't, I'm like a sub EZA level character. I don't mind restriction stuff like that. It's fine. I mean, if they don't have it and they're on a million categories, I mean, that's obviously good. But, um, I mean, I'll I'll live with it. Uh, I mean, look at his, look at his pre-EZA passive, right? Performs a crit if there's a Busaga enemy. Eh, okay. 180% attack, 30% damage reduction. If there's an extreme class enemy. And then if HP is 30% or below, he recovers 50% HP against an extreme class enemy. Launches additional. That has a high chance to be a super. Uh, Pretty basic. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, violently going in either direction. Like, I, mean, I don't know. Like, he... He doesn't look super crazy, but I, I mean, I should keep this in mind. Expectations. You got to keep expectations in line for like a lot of these guys, like even Gotenks to be, you know, at least if he's a close number two to Kefla, 
that is way above what my expectations for him were. Because Kefla was so good as an easy ATUR to me. She seemed to be an aberration. Like, she's not a standard easy ATUR. Gotenks seems maybe in range of that, which is way better than to expect. And then Banner Units... I mean, I was like 16 and Cell Jr. and EJL Super Vegeta were really good. We don't usually like these sub ECA characters are not good like that. So I I do want to keep that in mind when talking about like this guy and, you know, Tobo and Pride Troopers and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, he's not anything crazy. I, of course, you're going to only use this guy against villains. Um, maybe if the, the damage reduction was a bit higher, it's a little low. Like, maybe buff it a bit, but, um, okay. Uh, then there's, uh, the Giant Ribrian. Um, I would not mind if Giant Ribrian is made to be really good. Before we start, what is Giant Ribrian's... Has a chance, 10% chance of turning Giant. Okay. All right, Ribby. What are our stats? Again, kind of like normal, just like Dokkan Fest character stats, really. Like, when I say that, like, let's look at what the newest Dokkan Fest Topo stats look like. 17,000, 16,000, 11,000, right? And then 17, 15, yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these, like, Banner Unit ECAs, that, like, they have essentially kind of like typical, like, new Dokkan Fest stats. Leader skills, Peppy Gal, category key 3, 130%, or physical type, key 3, 30%. 30%? What? No, it's... No. I mean, it's not the biggest... This could be relevant for a battlefield. It's 90, 90%. Slight typo, not a big deal. Um, And 90% is a bit low for me in battle... I was thinking about it maybe in battlefield. That's a bit low. Supreme damage to enemy, raise attack and events for 6 turns... 50%. Oh, that's good. So she's getting 50% defense for six turns. Like, give her a couple of uh, additionals here. Or, like, additional supers, and she could get some decent defense, potentially. That's a... That's a that is a big boy, or I guess big girl, um, super attack effect right there. Hell yeah. 80% attack defense on super. No start a turn. We'll, well, we'll get there. Plus one key per key store obtained. What? This is a TUR. Change random type of key sphere to rainbow. Another two Peppy Gal category allies on the team. Okay. Oh, that, that could synergize well with Riverian. 22% attack and events per key sphere obtained. 22% attack, defense, and chance to dodge. Oh, per rainbow key sphere obtained. Wait, no offense, Minato. Is this is this plus one per rainbow key sphere? Is that what this is? If that's what this is, uh, hold on one sec. All right, I have the Dokkan wikis translations here. They also have it as one key per key sphere obtained. Okay. Uh, the reason it matters if Ribran would get extra key per rainbow orb is because then, like, the, I don't know what to call it, the the orb AI or orb pathing, whatever we want to say, whatever the correct term is, it would want to go down rainbow orb paths if Ribran was getting extra key from rainbow orbs. She's a TUR. One key per key sphere obtained, they're trolling. Like, like Amatsu is sitting there with that big-ass toothy grin of his smiling at us. Because it's point, it's a TUR, dude. This is not an LR. This is not LR Ultimate Gohan or something like that. If it's one key per rainbow orb, that is very impactful for this character. But one key per key sphere literally does nothing. Literally, literally does nothing. It's actually a point, like, completely irrelevant. Okay. Um. So, again, it's 22% attack, defense, and chance to dodge per rainbow key sphere. Um... 88% chance to dodge. Oh, in Super Saiyan has 70% stun. It's pretty good. And then launches an additional super and collecting three or more rainbow key spheres. 
So she's getting on super attack buffs, nuking passive, more stats plus dodging right here from rainbow orbs. She's creating her own rainbow orbs. It's, dude, she looks pretty good. I mean, you have a defensive ability. You have rainbow orb changing. She has a monster super attack effect. Am I missing something? She seems very solid to me. Ribrian seems good. Uh, Gohan, he's probably okay-ish. I mean, you're only going to want to use him against villains. Again, I don't mind the restrictions. Just make him maybe a little bit better. Maybe if this is like 50%. Because um, it's like... The 30... Like, the, the expectation for this guy, the hope, is that he's just able to tank normals effectively, really. So there's that. This Gotenks, I mean, he seems maybe a little iffy to me. I mean, this guaranteed crit shit. Pff, please, dude. Uh, Gotenks seems... I, I don't know. I don't know. Gotenks seems crazy. Man, he seems really good. Uh, and Topo... I think Topo is probably just, like, good or solid. Good or solid. They barely gave Topo anything else, but... Maybe just with all the easy extra stats, he is still guarding, he is still supporting. He is going to be a monster buff to Topo. Uh, what, this... Guys... I, I mean, I don't know how people are feeling, but this looks like a good batch of EZAs to me. Ribrian, you know, I would just get, like, seems like Ribrian is good. Topo is good. Gotenks is good. And then EGL Gotenks, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, I'm a little uncertain of. I want to see him in game. This, this to me seems to be a good batch of EZA characters. And remember, too, look at this. So, Ribrian, you know, she's special pose, right? Helping Topo. This character, special pose, helping Topo and Defender Justice. Uh, Gotenks, special pose. Gotenks, special pose, right? So it's like we have a bunch of characters here, and then this Topo is either a bunch of characters that will help Topo on a lot of these teams. That's good. That's really good. Because uh, Topo, like, he doesn't have nasty restrictions, but he does have the one thing which will make him quite a bit better, which is that he has his intro up. That's what I'm looking at, is Special Pose or Defender of Justice to help him get this intro. On Topo's own team, it's not a, a not an issue. But if you're going to run Topo off of his own team, that's where it becomes relevant. And that's where, like, Gotenks is on Broly's team, right? Like, we could run Topo, Broly, and Gotenks on... Broly's team is so crazy, by the way, because... Basically, every single character that comes out is on Broly's team. Essentially. Essentially. <laughs> every character that comes out is on Broly's team. So, it's like, Broly's team just gets, like, nastier and nastier. And, like, you could build it in, like, so many different ways. And it's like, yeah, like, Broly would hurt, you know, potentially Topo and Gotenks once his domain is up. But, I mean, your Topo would have to be built like shit, probably, to really be hurt. And your Gotenks... I don't know. Gotenks is a dodge character, so I could live with it. Anyway. So, let me know what you guys think, but uh, a lot of these EZAs seem really good. Gotenks is either, like, better than Kefla, as good as Kefla, or, you know, a little bit worse than Kefla, but in striking range of her is really good. So, this is good.